So Barcelona have just won the La Liga, but they have got some crippling debt on their hands. Using every lever possible, they have scraped through to the point where we are now. They've just tried to sign Leo Messi and they've rejected him. So... We're going to be doing a youth-only Barcelona rebuild. I cannot sign anyone over the age of 18. Other than that, it is all through the Le Messiah Academy, and I'm buzzing to get this one underway. What's going on there, guys? Kempi here, and welcome back to another rebuild for myself. And today, it's Barcelona. You can tell from the colour scheme. It's beautiful, and we love a Barcelona rebuild. Now, today is going to be a very, very fun one. It's a youth-only rebuild. We can only use players through the Youth Academy and through signing players under the age of 17 slash 18 so that hopefully we can make them homegrown and we can basically have a youth Barcelona club with the goal of by the end of the five years to have no debt at the club and everyone in the squad being either through the academy or signed under the age of 18. So if you guys are looking forward to it, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're picking up from real life. So at this point in real life, they have just won the league. I'm again too early because of the save file day. Um, but we are about to win the league. 88 points, obviously very, very good season for Barcelona in the real life. But there's some very strong players here that are going to have to make way. Now the plan is for season number one, there's going to be five youth players in the team. For season number two, seven youth players. For season number three, nine youth players. And for season four and five, there'll be all 11 as youth players. And by the end of season number five, it is going to be complete youth or our under 17 signings, which means the likes of Lewandowski, Ferran Torres, um, Usman Dembele, Rafinha, Kessi, Alonso, Dest, uh, Kunde, Frankie de Jong, Christensen, Bellerin, Longley, Umtiti, Araujo doesn't actually qualify, so Araujo's got to go, and Marc-Andre to Stegen. But luckily here at Barcelona, there's a fantastic youth academy. 19 youth facilities is beautiful. We've got the likes of Pedri and Gavi. We've got a few fantastic young players in here as well. We've got Lamine Yamal, who is a 15-year-old, looks absolutely fantastic in real life and fantastic on this year's game. So before we get any further let's go forward a few months time let me see if we can make any transfers like Vitor Roque who looks to be coming in in real life and see what this Barcelona side looks like with a guaranteed five youth players starting in the 11. So then transfers wise I did say we'd have bringing in Vitor Roque like real life he is on the cusp of 18 years of age to be honest I'm trying to sign players that are 17 and under but it doesn't like Vitor Roque is coming in in real life and I believe he can still qualify to become uh, a Spanish international obviously no caps for Brazil just yet I think if we go to the information tab after a certain 730 days because he's under the age of 18 he could pick up that Spanish nationality so he can become homegrown at club so Vitor Roque has come in 12 and a half million pounds a fantastic talent from Atletico Paranaense in real life so excited to see what he can do and how he develops over the next five years and in real life as well they have just signed a centre-back young 2004 cannot remember his name he's not on the game on my save file but this guy is Lenny Euro 17 years of age he is from Lille and has played one game in this version of the world a six foot three he's got one and a half star current ability but five star potential six foot three and has 15 heading 15 marking and 13 tackling already at 17 is outrageous. Some fantastic defensive stats. So they're the two signings we have brought in. In terms of outgoing season number one, um, we have managed to sell Usmane Dembele has left the club. Clermont Longley, Ferran Torres, Frank Kessie, Julian Araujo has also left the club. So them bunch have gone already. I mean, I've been in charge for two months. The clear out has started and the tactic we're using is the tactic we tested on Monday. It's this beautiful 4-2-3-1 asymmetric tactic. Now in goal is going to be to Stegen, Kunde at right back, a at centre back and the first man to be locked in to this team is Eric Garcia. You now this guy has come through the Barcelona Academy, then dipped off to Manchester City and then back to Barcelona on a free contract. So he does qualify as homegrown and what a player he is as well. And um, some fantastic stats and he's a great ball playing defender as well. So excited to have Eric Garcia and next to him is Alejandro Balde. Now this guy is fantastic in real life. Unbelievable pace about him. Some fantastic crossing and dribbling stats as well. And he's going to be a dominant player for us, hopefully for the next five years to the point where he's 24 years of age and his absolute prime. And obviously at that point, you guys can pick this up on Patreon as well. The next man in the team is Frankie de Jong, unbelievable player. He's got to go fairly soon. But next to him is Segundo Volante Gavi. Now, he has just had his La Liga registration 
back, which is fantastic news for Barcelona. But I'd quite like to see him at United. But, you know, he's going to stay at Barcelona. He looks fantastic as well. And he actually suits this Segundo Volante role quite well because he does like to... Um, drive into the box is a very consistent player has some great aggression and determination agility pace is all there finishing not fantastic so the man in front of him is going to be Pedri because he is better on uh, you know a bit closer to the goal only 11 finishing to be fair to him but hopefully we can improve that over time uh, and obviously a fantastic player in Pedri as well and can't actually play in DM so he is going to be our shadow striker extremely consistent again and obviously through the Barca Academy absolute baller uh, Rafinha is going to start this first season as our right midfielder um, obviously a little bit out of favor in real life at Barcelona but he's going to play for this season in that right midfield role left wing is going to be the fifth and final man locked in for this first season and that man is Ansu Fati hopefully we can revive his career he's been a little bit shaky the last you know 12 months picked up a little bit of form at the back end of the season but hopefully with his 16 finishing his 16 acceleration his 19 flair his 16 technique this man can become an absolute demon for us. And I'm sure at 20 years of age, like I said, five years time, 25, he's going to be an absolute baller. And Robert Lewandowski. Now, how long can we keep this man for? I'm sure he's going to score an outrageous amount of goals for us. I'm excited to have him at the club. But again, how long is that going to be for? We've got to move him on at some point. To be honest, I can imagine keeping to stay good and Lewandowski as long as possible before season four. We've got to go full youth. So looking forward to this to show you guys how we're looking to sign players as well. Um, I've set up scouting of the age of 15 to 17 in all different regions around the world. Um, so we have got um, in this, I've said it to any for some reason. Um, that's actually incorrect, which is annoying. Uh, but this one, we've got Africa. In this one, we've got Africa. I think uh, things are going wrong here. We've got Asia. I've got South America. I've got Europe. We are setting up youth scout talent everywhere. So as soon as anyone comes onto the market, we know who they are and they'll be scouted. So I'm looking forward to seeing what talent comes through and to what players we can sign. Uh, the bench for us is Inyaki Pena, uh, Hector Bellerin, Yen Lenny Yoro is on the bench, Christensen, Alonso, Nico, who is probably going to end up replacing Frank de Jong in that DM role. Uh, Sergio Roberto, Lucas Roman is a young player. Uh, again, through the Barcelona Academy, looks very, very good. Uh, great flair, good pace in him, decent enough potential in him as well. So we could see him at some point. Pablo Torre, fantastic young player. I'm not sure how much game time he's going to get, obviously, behind... Um uh, like Pedri, so we'll see about him. And then this guy looks fantastic as well. As a uh, as a Abde looks fantastic. Twenty one years of age, five foot ten from Morocco. Consistent, some great dribbling on him, good pace as well, great flair. So we'll see what Eze Abde can get up to as well with Vitor Rocket up front. And then from the Zealand video as well, which we have recently seen about developing young players, I have done what he said. Put the young players in the first team to train with the first team squad, but available for their square, you know, correct club. So, yeah, hopefully we should see some fantastic development from our youngsters as well. If you want to see more on that video, it's the Zealand video where he tests out how to get your youngsters in the best possible. This is the way to do it. So let's go forward then. 12 months time, the first season with Barcelona. Can we lift the La Liga back to back? This is going to be the easiest going to be at all. From this season onwards, it's just going to get harder and harder and harder. So let's just see what we can do. Season number one, Barcelona. Let's get into it. Ah, wait, hang on. I forgot. Finances. We're absolutely screwed. We're £550 million in debt. I forgot to show you guys that bit. It's quite a key thing because we're looking to clear that as soon as possible. Um, yeah, £550 million of debt. Lots of money that is, needs to be sorted out ASAP. So now we can go 12 months in the future and hopefully we can clear a little bit of that, I suppose. 50 mil. If you guys can make sure as well to like the video, subscribe to the channel and follow on these four wonderful things. We've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, we've got Twitch, we've got TikTok. I've got a second channel which I talk football and Manchester United on. And I also make videos over on Sort It Out SI as well. So make sure you go over there because there's an extra rebuild over there and an extra tactic. And tomorrow's rebuild on Sort It Out SI is with Real Madrid. And we're going to be doing a completely different rebuild and a Galacticos rebuild. We bring in Bellingham, we bring in Mbappe and who else? You'll have to watch that one tomorrow and see. Now, season number one with Barcelona has gone to plan. We have won La Liga, but nothing else. We've won La Liga, which is good to see because it's the consistency we wanted. Champions League, we got round of 16 by Liverpool, which is very frustrating. PSG finally lifted that trophy. Messi has just left as well, which 
I suppose, is gutting for them. And the Copa del Rey, we lost to Real Madrid in the semi-finals. who went on to win the whole thing. And the Supercopa, the same thing. But Atletico Madrid won it this time. So, you know, not the greatest first season, but we did win the trophy. Now, the guys we are concentrating on for this first season are these five. It's Eric Garcia, who looks to have done very, very well. Uh, if, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful for the man. He's now got a potential ability of four-star. Current ability now at three-star rather than that two-and-a-half. And some fantastic growth on his stats as well. I mean, they're all pretty much going up in a nice little direction there from Eric Garcia. Uh, looking very, very good from him. Alejandro Balde, 7.03 average rating. Again, is beautiful. Uh, and stats-wise, you can see they're all going up very nicely and even better over here, isn't it? He's now up to a two and a half star ability, which I believe he was at the start, but obviously much, much better. Potential of four and a half stars is great to see. A 7.03 average rating for him as well is beautiful. The man Gavi, 47 appearances, three goals, 11 assists in that DM role, 7.06 average rate and I feel like this graph is going to be absolutely beautiful and it is indeed a three star up to a three and a half star player uh, stats are looking to come down a little bit but I think it's because they've gone up and he's played so many games uh, which actually isn't the best for development again watch that Zealand video um, but sadly there's not much way we can control that um, Pedri looks to have had an injury this season uh, yeah, he's had a couple of three or four week injuries uh, and a two month injury right at the very start as well. Only 41 games, but eight goals and 10 assists is very, very impressive. And again, stats going up nicely. Uh, he's back pretty much where he started. He did drip down a little bit, but he's back where he started again, playing lots and lots of games for him. But that's what we're looking to see. And Ansu Fati again must have had quite a big injury. Uh, it looks like at a 40, oh, he broke his lower leg. Oh, that's absolutely heartbreak for the kid. He's done a fantastic season as well. 28 appearances, 10 goals and 8 assists. Uh, you know, gutting to see him get injured. But there's a reason we're looking to try and keep hold of Robert Lewandowski. He's unhappy we didn't reach the last stages of the Champions League. But Robert, mate, you cannot go anywhere. 39 appearances, 51 goals is very, very impressive. As a Abde actually played lots of games this season as well. 27 appearances, 13 goals and 10 assists. I have a feeling this man is going to quite nicely into that right midfield role. So we'll see about him. And Vito Roque as well, developing quite nicely. Uh, five appearances, 23 off the bench, and eight goals is very good to see. Have we got anyone else come through the Youth Academy? I imagine there's some absolute... Yeah, I mean, come on now. Uh, we've got Motti Katz here, who's a six foot four. Is Rayleigh Cam striker or right wing? I mean, how have you ended up at Barcelona, son? And why are you so good? Uh, Wasim Kalzaza as well looks fantastic. Five-star potential on him. And then we've got Michael Lachouard, who is a French centre midfielder. Um, so he could potentially be our DM in the long run. Uh, looking very, very good as well. Make sure to get him into the first team. Finances-wise, with the debts and loans, we've killed £200 million worth of that debt. It's beautiful to see. They're giving me a budget of £108 million. 500 k of wage bill. We're not selling a single, we're not spending, you know, any of that on anyone absolutely outrageous. There's some great young players now who we have got the look of, including this guy, Z Tra B, a Burkino Faso centre back at PSV. Should we try and bring him in? Let's go forward to the end of season number two. I'll show you guys the transfers we've made and how the second season went. <laughs> I said the plan was to bring in Z Trabi, and that is exactly what we've done. We put him down into the Barcelona B squad, and he got a 7.41 average rating, playing 55 appearances down there. So he is looking to develop very, very nicely. Still with that five star potential 12 months on. So it's fantastic to see that from him. And also, Damon Bacunia has come in 16 finishing, 16 first touch, 15 determination. Not the greatest of speed, him, but he is from Holland and side for AZ Alkmaar. Now, he played. Um, 26 games in the La Liga 2 for Barcelona B, only scoring three goals and getting two assists. So we'll see if there's anything about this guy. Potentially not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we also sold Hector Bellerin for 17 million, Rafinha for 60, Frankie de Jong for just 48 million, and Ilias Akamak as well. Obviously, he is a player through the Barcelona Academy, but is nowhere near the level with Eze Abde or Ansu Fati. And for 10 million pounds, it was silly not to get that money in for him. And that is what we have done. But the question is, season two, have we done better? Have we retained the title? We have retained the title. It's three years in a row. One, two, three times the rope. So you really think you're the best? Haha, <laughs> mate, that was a little JJ rap. But Barcelona three times, that is so embarrassing. Barcelona three times in a row. We've absolutely smashed it. 92 points for Barcelona is fantastic. 54 goals for Lewandowski. He's helping us 
quite a lot. Now, the players that were locked in for this season was Nico in DM and Eze Abde at right mid. The rest is all the same. Garcia, Balde, Nico, Gavi, Abde, uh, Pedri and Ansu Fati. But again, we're here to see how they're progressing. And Eric Garcia looks like an unbelievable centre-back now, which is very good to see. It looks like his ability has dropped off. But I think that's because our players have got better. If you see from this graph, it is all going up, which is lovely uh, to see. Alejandro Balde is unbelievable. Again, fantastic. He's developed into a very good left winger, actually. But he is obviously a left back for us. And again, progress wise, they're all going up very nicely, which is beautiful to see. I actually think I'm doing this wrong. I'm meant to be doing it this way, aren't I? Well, it looks beautiful either way. And he's doing very good things. Uh, progress wise, he is going up as well for Alejandro Balde. 7.12 average rating for him, which is fantastic. Nico then, a player that I didn't expect to get much game time or even break into the side, has actually been a fantastic central defensive midfielder for us. Next to Gavi, 7.20 average rating for this man. Two goals and 12 assists. And again, developing very, very nicely down here at a two and a half star. Now at the top of his three star game and very happy to see Nico developing as well as he is. And we've got a man like Gavi again next to him. Four goals, but 20 assists. And how good does Gavi look? Age 20, 24 appearances for Barcelona now, a 7.15 average rate in this season. Again, ability-wise, sort of back down to where it was at the start of the season, but his stats are looking beautiful, and they're all going up nicely, which is great to see. Uh, Eze Abde played at right mid this season, full locked in. Only got three-star potential, so maybe someone we look to replace fairly soon. Uh, he's got three goals and 13 assists this season. Looks decent, but maybe not the player I thought he might be. Pedri in that cam roll, 17 goals, 19 assists. He's Mr. Barcelona. He's replaced Messi even is that guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on now. He plays for Inter Miami. It's all about Pedri these days. And what a fantastic season that is. 7.39 average rating. Stats look fantastic. Great dribbling. Great first touch. And I mean, just overall, what a player he is. And Ansu Fati as well this season. Without any injuries. 20 goals and 13 assists in just 47 games. Again, fantastic talent is Ansu Fati. And very happy to see him into the side. Debts wise, we were obviously down at 350 last season. It's down to 19 million. Barcelona, just don't buy anyone for two or three years. You'll be all right. Just relax, please. I mean, I imagine these levers are nothing on what they are in real life. But to show we had 550 million pounds in debt, and we're now down to 20 million with 337 million pounds in the bank as well. We've got a transfer budget of 253 million pounds and a 1.8 million pound wage budget as well as well as also signing this guy already well actually two guys well i know just one guy already it's wagner palocci now i've had to spend quite a lot of money on the wage of this guy i think it's about 80k a week but how often does a four and a half star slash five star potential goalkeeper come up? I'm telling you now, it's not very often. So we went big on big back now to see if he can become our main goalkeeper. Again, looking at the development center then at the under 19s, there is some more talent in here. We've got Monty Katz, who is looking fantastic, to be honest, to him. a one and a half star player. Still five star potential on him. We've got Z Trappi, who I was sure is going to get into the team next season. We've got Ivan, who uh, is a goalkeeper. Of course, a five star goalkeeper comes through now. We've just spent 10 million on a Brazilian. This guy looks brilliant and is 15 years of age. So we'll see what he could amount to. We've got Emil, Andrea Vidal. We've got uh, Anthony Foch. We've got Bakari Mane. We've got Lamina Yamal, who obviously I said about at the start, could potentially take Eze Abde's place in right mid. 29 goals and 28 assists in this team this season. Season. So very good season from him. Let's go forward then. Season three, it's now nine youth players locked in to the first team. So, you know, if we end up winning, I mean, we're not going to win a quadruple now, are we? I mean, the Champions League is probably gone at this point unless we can develop these players to be unbelievable. Hopefully we can win the Copa del Rey and the Super Copa de España and hopefully one more league title over the next three years. But that is for the future. Let's go forward 12 months time and see how we do in season number three. The halfway point in the video as well so just another very very quick reminder to like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me massively so get down there and do that the support from you guys recently has been mind-blowingly good so i'm so thankful to every single one of you this season Barcelona. Now, Ronald Harujo has left £30 million. Kunde left £30 million. Christensen left £20 million. Damon Bacuno, you brought in, already gone. £4.2 million brought in, £7 million sold. Goodbye. Gone. Kaput. Goodbye. Uh, Inaki Pena has left the goalkeeper. 
Bit of a brave one, this one. Through the Barcelona Academy, has left the club. Not good enough. We'll see if we can replace him. Uh, we've got one more year. Uh, no, we don't. This was our last year with to stay in. So we'll have to see what we do in goal. Alex Collado has sold. Astralega has sold. And Pal Prim has been sold. I've shown you Wagner Palocci. Tiago Campionaccio is the player I'm going to sell you this time. Wow. How good does he look? From the Tonzella Youth Academy this season, he played 23 games for our Barcelona B side. 33 goals and 24 assists. That might be the under-19s, actually. But he's already a three-star current ability, five-star potential, extremely uh, consistent. And these stats are going up and down over the place. But he's got the golden number. 20 determination, 16 crossing, 16 pace, 16 natural fitness. Great passing technique off the ball. Finishing needs a little bit of improvement. But my God, does he look absolutely fantastic. He's just got the small thing of Ansu Fati to compare with. So we'll see how we can end up getting that guy in the team. Uh, Rumian Nolasco is the next sign we have made. Uh, this was one from Las Palmas. This was a signing of 2.5 million. And we'll see what he can amount into. Four and a half star potential on him. Um, Oscar is the brought in from Mallorca. A fantastic DM. Again, four star potential. 1.5 million pounds spent. Already worth 20 million pounds. Even if we're moving on. It's a great signing, great anticipation, bravery and work rate on Oscar. So we'll see what we can get with him. And Emmanuel Terracine is someone that's been brought in as well. Five-star potential Italian centre-back from Sevilla. He has been signed and again, looks absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't have done a transfer by everyone. He wants to leave. He ain't leaving. Shut up, Emmanuel. You're staying at the club, right? Just leave it out and stop complaining. The nine players then that were locked in for this season um, it was not Pedri. That What has happened here? Uh, it was you and you. There you go. Why have I done that? Let me work this out. Oh, there you go. 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 It's these nine players that were locked in. It was Lewandowski up front to stay good in goal. The last season of them two. And Lewandowski fell off this season. Only 39 goals. So we're going to have to try and replace him. Uh, Bakari Mane. I showed you him last season. Uh, he was down in the under-19s doing absolutely nothing. Well, now he's a Barcelona regular. 6.69 average rating. Not the greatest of seasons from him at right back. This is where we've had to try and put in some players that might not be as good as we'd hoped. Uh, 54 appearances um, doing okay, but not fantastic. Z Trappy as well. There's a reason I mentioned him. He's got five-star potential. He's very, very good, but only a 6.82 average rating as his first season at centre-back for us. Can certainly do with some improving, but we shall see. Eric Garcia, Balde, Nico, Gavi, Ezi Abde, Pedri and Fatty. I mean, Fatty, 17 goals, 13 assists. Pedri, 18 goals and 4 assists. 3 goals, 17 from Gavi as well. 8 assists now from Balde. But this is the time we've got to make an even bigger step. Lewandowski and Tostegan are leaving. And I mean, you've probably seen it at the top already. We actually choked this season very, very hard. Now, last season, we won the league on 92 points. Bringing in a right back and a um, centre back that are not very good and just 18 years of age is quite a big thing. You know, you defend a lot worse. I mean, to look at our data hub, we conceded pretty much average on goals and didn't score hardly as many. I think that's because Lewandowski getting old, only 19 goals in the league this season. It's going to get tough from here, isn't it? But we are now clear of debt, which is the best thing about this all. If we go into the finances and I show you the debts and loans, there is nothing here whatsoever, which is fantastic. If you are looking to pick up this save, by the way, you can do it in the Patreon. It's, I believe, I mean, it's £5 a month I've got the tier set to where you can get these rebuild files. And, I mean, you can have great fun with Barcelona. And you can have great fun with Real Madrid tomorrow, I assure you of that. £343 million to spend. £2.5 million worth of wage budget. You don't know how tempting it was at this point to go absolutely balls to the wall and just sign everyone. <laughs> it was so tempting. But this is a youth-only rebuild. And we've got season four and five now of a full youth-only team. So let's get right into that. There's a new goalkeeper on the block. It's our now Tenyas, a guy who, again, has been the Barcelona B goalkeeper for, you know, the last... It's, seven or eight years and he's now the Barcelona goalkeeper he's a three-star potential and three-star ability goalkeeper it's not awful to be fair to him 46 goals conceded in 40 games this season probably shows you how well we done very consistent player loves a big match decent one-on-ones and he is our goalkeeper he led us the second place in the league which I'm quite impressed with I mean a full youth only. This is Barcelona now. This is what we are. We are an academy-run club with a few under-17s players brought in as well. And things have gone fairly well. I mean, Champions League, we didn't win the league, uh, Champions League. I've saved it 
a little bit late. Uh, but PSG ended up winning the Champions League. I think we got to the round of 16 or something. And the Copa del Rey, we got knocked out in the third round by Real San Sebastian, which is very annoying because, again, we've not won that. But second place in the league, 20 points off Real Madrid and a full youth-only team. When Real Madrid are out here signing Galacticos left, right and centre with Jurgen Klopp in charge, we are doing it the right way. Barcelona are football. Don't let anyone tell you different. Tactics-wise, uh, just to show you the squad now, it is Tenyas in goal. Uh, Anthony Foch played 41 games at right back this season. And uh, he is a decent young player. Again, I showed you him not too long ago. Come through the academy. Looks very decent. 17 determination. Some decent defensive stats. Again, can cross and dribble. Very similar to Alejandro Balde in his pace as well, which is fantastic. Very consistent. So good to see him at the back. Uh, Eric Garcia and Trabi, again, are the two centre-backs. He had a bit of a better season this season. Played just 29 games, but 6 point. 7-8 average rating. Balde doing bits. Nico and Gavi doing bits. Eze Ebde still at that right bid role. 40 games, just nine goals for him. Uh, Gavi as well, just to show you um, if I can click on him correctly with seven assists and four goals in this season. So a little bit of a decline from him, just a 6.97 average rating. Pedri in that shadow striker role, 12 goals and 11 assists. And then the way we got Ansu Fati up front was to bring in Campionaccio, who I showed you last season. Seven goals and eight assists for him. And he looks fantastic. And I genuinely think this guy is like a bloody Ronaldo regen, but on the left. Oh, Ronaldo was on the left, wasn't he? Tripping balls. But he looks fantastic. Crossing, dribbling, that finish needs to be better. But the great pace, a determined young Portuguese man who's very consistent. Sounds like a Ronaldo one to me. And Ansu Fati played up top this season. And he did disappoint too much. 25 goals and three assists in 38 games. Is certainly decent. And I mean, now we're looking at the uh, the whole club. We've got Palocci Mane Hafiz is a signing I made this season. Uh, he is an Egyptian centre mid from Al Ali. Again, looks outrageously good. We signed him for 11.75 million. I should probably show you that bit, shouldn't I? Um, so we signed him. Oh, well, I'm probably not showing you in a couple of years. Oh, that's shocking for me. Uh, Miguel Toro Torres going for 2.5 million as well. Uh, he's another DM. Looks fantastic. Great teamwork, etc. Uh, Andrea Cacano come in as a backup left back to Alejandro Balde. Anthony Mazzilli come in as a young striker. Great dribbling and finishing on him. And Thomas Alaves come in as well as a very good Argentinian striker. Looks fantastic. Very, very good. To stay good left to check. Chelsea for 27 million. Lewandowski left to United for 5 million, which is absolutely shocking. Scored 10 goals in 35 appearances. So Lewandowski officially done. Uh, then this season, we have signed Dylan Monroe from Ross County. Now, this guy is a free contract. And uh, yeah, he's quite good, isn't he? 18 years of age, Scottish lad, 10 caps, two appearances already for Scotland. Looks outrageous. Looks just fantastic and I'm a massive fan of Dylan Monroe. Alexander Dojdejevic as well as come in Serbian centre-back 18 years of age looks fantastic um, and then John Gomez is coming from Athletic Nacional another midfielder looks very very good Fabrizio Tropinano comes in another five-star wonder kid and Brian Langlois has come in 20 million pounds spent on this guy but he was sort of the best left foot centre-back I could find and again I like to try and be realistic so we signed him for 20 million squids and he looks very good as well very consistent player in Brian Langlois but the squad again if I just show you looking by uh, general info is just an extremely you know Barcelona club it is so young it's ridiculous I mean literally the average age of the squad must be 12 the oldest is Eric Garcia and are now Tenyas and then you've got Eze Abde and Nico the 25s but you've got here I mean all of these players are under the age of 20 40 of them and how many five-star potential players is there if we go by five star only potential wise, there is a total of 17 players here. And just to mention as well, the five, four and a half star potential players, because there's quite a few of them. If you include them, there's 33. So we really are a wonder kid team with no debt. And we're managing to just, you know, challenge with Galacticos Real Madrid. So we're doing football the right way, which is always a good thing here at Barcelona. We're straight away from that recently. We've got back on track and hopefully now season five, we can be repaid for that good faith. So let's get right into it. Season five, what can we do? Can we lift the La Liga for one last time? So Barcelona fans, would you take this then? The next five years of signing only under 18 players, your own youth academy, it gets you another two La Ligas over the next five years. We didn't win it in season number five, but much closer to Real Madrid this time. You don't win another Champions League. You don't win a Copa del Rey. You don't win a Super Copa del Rey, but 
you are probably the richest club in the world again with 876 million pounds in the bank transfer budget of 462 million a wage budget of six million pounds i cannot stress if you guys do want to use this save is available in the Patreon link down below. It's £5 a month. Obviously, you can sign up once, get the reboot file and cancel. It's completely up to you. And obviously, it helps support me massively as a creator as well. Make this dream a reality. And you're going to have so much fun. I mean, I, I cannot stress that enough. This team is outrageous and is just an absolute bundle of fun to play with. Dylan Monroe, the Scottish that I showed you, is outrageously good. Look how good he is. This season, 39 goals and three assists in 45 games. I've not signed young uh, wonder kids like this in a very long time in FM, and I regret it because it's so fun. Ansu Fati, 25 goals, 15 assists. Pedri, 13 and 11. Joe Camper, Jao and played 18 games, nine goals, seven assists. Eze Abde with five and 13. Didn't think he would be a mainstay of this team, well, he was, and he's been a decent one at that as well. So very good to see from him. We've got Motti Kratz in here now with 25 appearances off the bench. Israeli striker slash cam is great to see him doing absolute bits. Best average rating was Ansu Fati. Pedri in second, Monroe in third. Balde from the start has been here, and he looks like a decent left back, doesn't he? So very good from him. Uh, we've got Nico in goal, Miguel Torres, uh, Alfred Rosnas. I don't even recognise half these guys anymore. Martin Gregoriev is here in real life, so good to see him here playing a few games for Barcelona. Um, who was our goalkeeper as well? It was Arnel Tenyas to finish off the season. Barca through and through from 2017. Arnel, if you're watching this, you're going to be the Barca number one, and the youth-only Barcelona rebuild is over Two La Liga trophies in five years, £900 million in the bank, no debt, and an absolute list of five-star wonder kids. If you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and come back tomorrow and sort it out as our channel for a Real Madrid rebuild, which is the complete opposite. We're going to sign everyone, including in Bellingham, Mbappe, and Erling Haaland. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.